Welcome to What's in Your Cupboard. I'm sure that our pantries are full of non-perishables that we love to use for quick and easy meal. I'm Ellen and I've seen your comments and pictures of what's in your cupboard. So I'm here to show you three amazing dishes that you can cook at home for the day. And the main ingredient of the day is... Ayam brand Saba. I grew up eating their canned tuna in sandwiches and I still do today. But did you know they have a new line of canned fish in the same flavours? Let's try it out today! Saba is the Japanese term for Pacific mackerel, a fish consumed in Japan for the nutritional value. Ayam brand has created a Saba line using the same three flavours as their tuna. So we have the mayonnaise, extra virgin olive oil and chilli. The Saba line has 50% more omega-3 than the tuna, which means it's better in helping strengthen bones, improve eyesight and it's great for the brain. I'm excited to show you the recipes, so let's get started! Breakfast cups are a great quick breakfast to have because they're packed full of veggies and protein. Just make a huge batch, freeze them and you can have one anytime you want. They're really easy to make, so let's get started with the first step. Preheat your oven to 180 degrees and then we can start rolling out our puff pastry. Lightly dust the table with some flour. Now take your puff pastry and lay it there. Dust your rolling pin with some flour. Then we can start rolling out our puff pastry. Roll out to about 3mm thick or according to the instructions of the pastry. You can make your own pastry dough from scratch but using store-bought pastry dough is a real time saver. And they're really good too. I'm going to cut my pastry into half. Now stack one half on top of the other to make the pastry thick. Now, I'm going to cut out circles to fit my baking tin. Now my pastry dough is done and in the baking tin, I'm going to cover it with egg wash to give it a nice golden brown colour. This is done, I'm going to put my pastry in the oven to bake for 20 minutes or until it's risen and golden brown. My pastry is baking in the oven, so we're going to make the Saba filling now. Onions. Carrots. Salt. Pepper. Cooking oil, lemon juice. All the ingredients are in, so we're gonna mix it together. The Saba mayo looks exactly like the tuna mayo. It's really creamy and it'll help to make the cups nice and moist. My pastry is done, they look really good. Now we're gonna cut a hole in them and fill them up with the fillings. And press it down. Once you're done, scoop the fillings onto the cups. These breakfast cups look so cute and delicious. I think they are also perfect for serving at gatherings when it's safe together. I'm gonna eat it now. I love how the textures blend together, crispy and creamy. And the Saba mayo is so delicious. It's tart and savoury. This is such a healthy breakfast to start your day with. Now, let's go on to lunch. For lunch, we have cheesy saba tamagoyaki. Tamagoyaki is a tasty Japanese side dish. And today, we're going to add in the saba to make it more awesome. Let's begin with the first step. Let's start by separating the saba flakes from the extra virgin olive oil. The extra virgin olive oil is 100% natural and high in vitamins A, D, E and K. You can use it for salad dressings, but today we'll be draining it as we'll be cooking the saba. Now, we're going to season our eggs. Add in spring onions. Pepper, salt, and mix it together. 
Now that that's mixed, we'll be cooking our eggs. Start with low flame and add your cooking oil. Add in half of your eggs. Let it cook a while and add in a slice of cheese. Now top it up with the Saba fish flakes. Once the bottom of the egg is firm, roll the egg up and push it to the bottom of the pan. Add in the rest of the eggs. Add in the remaining cheese slice and add the rest of the Saba fish flakes. Once the egg is done, roll it up and we are ready to plate it. Doesn't this look like something out of a Japanese restaurant? Let's see if they taste as good as they look. The tamago is oozing with cheese. It's very springy and I love the chunks of fish inside. It breaks up the texture and adds wonderful flavour. This is such an easy side dish that you can have for lunch. Now, let's move on to dinner. For a quick dinner that is super satisfying, baked rice is the way to go. And today, we're going to spice things up with Ayam brand Saba chilli. Let's begin with the first step. Let's melt our butter first. Onions. Carrot and garlic. Cook until soft. Add in the flour and stir until it is smooth. Gradually add in the milk while stirring until the sauce has thickened. Then add half of the cheese. Add in the whole can of Saba chilli, cook for a minute and stir in the cooked rice until it is well mixed. First, preheat your oven to 200 degrees. Then, we're going to butter our baking dish. Now we are going to do two layers of rice and cheese. Add a layer of rice to add half of the cheese and add another layer of rice. Now add the rest of the cheese. After layering, place the dish to bake for 20 minutes or until the top cheese layer is browned. This smells so good and it looks like a restaurant quality dish. Honestly, I think cheese always makes everything look better. I'm going to try it now. The spice of the Saba chilli is really tolerable for people who do not take spice like me. But for our spicy lovers out there, this dish is really enjoyable too. I really enjoyed this dish and I think you guys at home will too. So these are the three dishes that we have for Ayam brand Saba. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give us a thumbs up, like it and leave a comment down below which is your favourite. And don't forget to subscribe to Share Food Singapore and click that bell icon so that you'll be notified every time we have a new video. Until then, keep indoors, keep cooking and keep safe. See you guys next time. Bye!